Hello and welcome to Relax and Sleep Hypnosis Daily. My name is Jason Newland. Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes. My website is Jason Newland. Please get yourself comfortable sitting in a comfortable chair or lying down on your bed. Ideally, listen to this when you won't be disturbed. For the duration. But in the event that you are distracted for whatever reason, it doesn't matter because you can just press the pause button, deal with whatever's happening and then come back. Either listen from the start again or just continue where you were and you will automatically feel just as relaxed and calm and peaceful as you were before the interruption. I'd also recommend wearing loose clothing. So, if you've just been scuba diving, maybe take the scuba diving costume off. Take the flippers off and the the headgear. If you've been skiing, take the skis off. The gloves and the boots. Allowing your body and the blood in your body, the circulation, just to move around. Easily. Loose clothing. If you're wearing tight trousers, maybe take them off and wear something loose. Of course, it's up to you. Do whatever you feel you need to do. to feel comfortable I would say even go as far as almost preparing for bed which you may be doing you may be listening to this whilst in bed ready to relax so very deeply And drift off to sleep. Now. Kind of covered taking off everything. Like your chastity belt or. Your body armour. It's all about giving yourself permission to let go. Allowing yourself. To just be you. During this time where there's no judgment. There's no need to please anybody. 
no hoops to jump through. Just a safe space to be yourself. To let go of that internal dialogue. Because it's not needed. And relax. Because relaxation really is needed. For your health, for your well-being, for your peace of mind. Maybe if you feel that you have an overactive mind, a bit too much internal chatter, that perhaps you feel... I said the word perhaps too many times during this recording. Perhaps not. But perhaps you feel that uh, internal chatter is just too much. Perhaps. You can just allow my voice to replace. Some of that negativity that may have been there before. Replacing it with my boring voice. Just talking about relaxing. Perhaps saying the odd pointless thing, even though I'm trying to stop saying the word perhaps, I'm now really noticing it, but as you notice that too, you may also notice that your mind is starting to slow down. Something changes. And I'm guessing that some people listening to this recording may wonder why you're starting to feel more relaxed. Some people may say, well, that's why I'm listening. Because you expect to be affected positively by my voice. And to be gently encouraged to let go of any feelings that are unwanted or unnecessary. Just by listening to me. Blab on and on and on. And some people may be surprised at just how easily that you really can. Deep.
de-stress. Let go. Really, really let go. And sometimes it can be a, a little bit like I remember when I was a paper boy. I used to deliver papers. I didn't deliver boys, I delivered paper boys. Not boys made of paper, but oh, that was silly, wasn't it? So I used to be a newspaper delivery human, a little human. Sometimes in the winter, like when it was really, really cold. Mind you, I quite like it when it's cold. It's very refreshing. Seems almost to get rid of things that are not needed. Almost cleans the air, cleans the body, cleans the mind. Pushing out unwanted and pointless, unhelpful thinking. So I would do my paper round or paper route and I'd get home. Because I, that's where I lived. After delivering the papers. Now, there was always one paper that I delivered last. And it was just around the corner from where I lived. So I would have that in my hand. And I would walk for about 20 minutes on the way home and then I'd put that paper into the letterbox of that house. It was something quite nice, you know, when you just let go of the last thing, the last thing you need to deliver. And then you know it's done. It's quite nice. But I would travel and I'd walk back and it'd be so cold. And I remember once I was looking in my bag and I couldn't find the paper that I was going to put into the letterbox of the last house that was around the corner from where I lived on my way home. And I thought, is it gone? And I, I remember thinking to myself, I wish I had a piece of paper here so I could write this down and tell people in the future about this exciting story about the newspaper during the winter. Anyway, I realised, once I got home, that the newspaper was in my other hand. But my hand was so cold that I couldn't even feel the newspaper in my hand. And I literally had to pry my fingers open. That sounds a bit dramatic really, doesn't it? But I had to pull my fingers open. I didn't need help from the neighbours. 
There was no, I didn't call the fire service to help me. But I didn't need a ladder. But I pulled my fingers apart to let, to, you know, loosen the grip of that final newspaper. But I could not feel my hands. I couldn't feel my right hand. My left hand was fine because I had had it in my pocket. Now, if only I had put the other paper in the bag, I would have been able to put both my hands in my pocket. But for the sake of this story, I hadn't figured that out. And you may be thinking, well, this has been quite a long story about a newspaper in a frozen hand when you was a child and you know I'm sure we can all agree that it was a very very uh, interesting and some would say even life changing story that brightened up everyone's world when they heard it but some people may question, why did I tell that story? And for this, I can't remember why, there was a reason for it. But I'm not sure what it is, but I don't want to tell you that right now. Because I might not look very professional. So I'm going to stall for a a few seconds until I remember the reason why I started talking about having a frozen newspaper in my hand. The newspaper wasn't frozen. The thing is, the newspaper is made of paper. The only way it could be frozen is if it had been wet. And it, it had been wet because it wasn't raining. It was just really cold. Um. Yeah, the reason, as an analogy, I wasn't aware that that newspaper was in my hand because my hand was numb. It was frozen. And I was being distracted by probably my face being cold and my legs walking, well, my whole body... But my whole body wasn't, my whole body was moving, but it was my legs and my feet as well. I keep forgetting about my feet. So I was walking, and that sometimes feels a little bit like the mind in the sense of there's tension and there's stuff that perhaps we can let go of from my mind that perhaps we're not aware of or we're not aware that we can that we have that option of letting go of it because it's like that frozen hand it's out of awareness and it doesn't actually need to come into awareness to just drop onto the floor just by focusing on that on how ridiculous that story was I just told you allows your relaxation levels to increase to a much higher level than maybe normal and you may notice that your mind is drifting in a different way, in a real sense of, a real sense of comfort, you may notice, perhaps, that you continue to relax. 
as you start to count from 100 all the way down to 1 and perhaps you'll drift off to sleep. Counting from one hundred all the way down to one. One hundred ninety-nine. Ninety-eight. Ninety-seven. Seven. Mm-hmm.